Hey, hey, I'm Rich. This is Rich is Right. And sit down. <laughs> So welcome to Wishes Rights, episode one. Um, so I'm going to start off with running through everything that needs to happen on my BMW X5 Um It needs a little bit of love. Um, it's already had some, um, but it needs an awful lot more. Um, it's about nine and a half years old now. I've had it for nearly four years. Um, and I don't really drive it that much. And it's getting a little bit tired. It's getting a little bit tatty. Uh, the kids have obviously been in the back and they've been a bit of a mess. And things break uh, as they do over time. So it needs a little bit of love and attention. And I love the car, I think it's fantastic. Um, it just needs a little bit of an update. So <clears throat> um, we're gonna be running through all the different things that's gonna be happening with this car over the, the next um, coming episodes. Um, it is the, the original BMW X5M, it's Silverstone Blue. Um, it's got all the bells and whistles. Uh, it's got a 555 horsepower when it left the factory. God knows what it's got now. Um, but it's not enough, I want more. Uh, I want a bit more presence on the road. I want it to look a little bit more modern. Um, you know, obviously it's two model years behind or two two models behind what the new one is. So it looks a little bit dated compared to the new stuff that's coming out. But that's what happens when you have a car that's getting on for 10 years old. Um, so I'm going to be doing a bit of a refresh. I'm going to be tidying up the inside. I'm going to be fixing a few things that are broken. Um, I've already taken care of a few things on the car. Um, so I've already added a little bit of an extra burble. Um, and I'll, I'll show you under the car how we did that. And I've also had to replace the brakes. Um, <clears throat> With the, the lack of use, which is always a danger with the car, isn't it? Um, the, the brakes were, were corroded and um, they're just grinding and they just weren't wearing well at all and it was causing me all sorts of problems. Um, so I've actually been around and replaced them with some aftermarket stuff and um, we'll, we'll show you some pictures later. So they, they were just like proper, like just more vented discs and now they're, they're drilled, it looks an awful lot better. So episode one is all about getting those wheels sorted. Um, I think they've been refinished before, but they've, they've blown. You can see behind the lacquer where um, the moisture's just got behind and it's been curbed in a few places, just bad driving. Yeah, I know, cardinal sin. Um, and they, they just look really tatty. So first thing I'm gonna do on the car, uh, well, first thing in this episode I'm gonna do on the car is, is get those wheels taken care of. Um, then we're gonna be going through, so there's a couple of things on the interior. I want to get rid of the aluminum trim finish. I'm gonna do some vinyl wrap and make it look like a bit carbon fiber. I want to update the multimedia display. Uh, I've got some broken bits in the cabin that need fixing. Um, I've got an air vent that the, um, the, the adjuster, the slider got broken, and got smashed by the kids when they kicked it. I've got, uh, it needs a new battery. Um, it, I think it's the original battery. And um, I'm always getting that um, increased battery discharge because I, I barely drive it and you jump in the car and so it's always on charge. Um, and because I've been in there charging up and opening that B section, the, the battery tray compartment, all that sort of stuff is getting a little bit tired and, and I'm sure that the garage broke a few tabs on the stuff. Under the bonnet, <clears throat> all looks nice. So I've had to replace like the coils and stuff like that before. But again, I just want to do a bit of a refresh, tidy up under there to make it look a little bit better. Um, and then uh, we'll take care of the stance. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about getting some spaces. So I'm not looking to change the wheels at this moment. Um, the 20s on there at the moment, they're, they're plenty big enough. They do look a bit small, but the car is big. Um, but I'm not looking to change those wheels at the moment. So we'll get those refinished. Uh, I'm going to change the colour to, to suit the vehicle more, um, but I'm looking to possibly put some spaces on. I, I know there's some options around spaces, and I'm going to get the um, the stance taken care of. So we're going to be looking at the springs on the uh, the X5M. It's um, like self-leveling rear suspension, so you don't have springs. You just have these little like, tie rods, so you just get some adjustable length tie rods, and you put them in and adjust the the rear height accordingly. So we're going to look to take care of all that, um, and then um, possibly we'll have a look at the exhaust as well and uh, we'll get even more burble out of it because <clears throat> I'll, I'll give you some um, some cold starts and I'll give you some overruns and stuff. It does sound really nice, but um, it, it could do sound a bit louder. It's a twin turbo. Turbos always muffle these bloody things, don't they? It's got to go through the cats as well, so it doesn't really sound V8-ish to me. I like it a little bit deeper. I mean, it's nowhere near like a Range Rover SVR or anything like that, um, and it never will be, um, but we'll make it sound nicer. Um, and it's not got enough power. It's a massive car. Um, even though it's got 555 horsepower, I think it's booked at like 4.7 seconds, not to 60, which is fast, but it's slow in like the, the fast car world. Um, so I want to get more power out of it. It's sort of got the K&N air filter in there, um, which are fun. I need to make sure they're nice and clean. Um, but I'm thinking of 
probably taken a trip down to DMS uh, Automotive down um, on the south coast and see if we can get it in the um, in the, the 650 range or something like that. But we'll see how that plays out. And obviously, I've got all of the um, all of the insurance and things like that to take care of. Um, I want to take care of the, the front of the car, modernise the feel of it. Um, there's some aftermarket headlights that kind of change the, the look and feel of the, the cars quite a lot. Um, so we'll have a look at those. Uh, I'm having a look at the back. We're going to tidy up. I've got some new badges and stuff like that to take care of as well. Just give it an overall general tidy and clean, and um, we'll keep picking and choosing. Um, there's quite a few nifty little things. They're quite involved, and I'd like to be able to change the um, the, the shifters on the back of the steering wheel, but it does mean taking the steering wheel off, uh, which I've never done on a car like this, um, and completely disassembling it to, to put those new um, shift um, levers on. We'll see how that goes. Um, I've got a full list of things to take care of. So what I'll do, um, I'll take you out to the car in a second. Um, I'll also pull up a full list of things that we're going to take care of. And um, hopefully over the next couple of episodes, we'll start sort of chipping away at these. Um, so I haven't just got the X5M. Um, I've also got some other vehicles um, and we'll get onto them as well. So uh, I've got a Suzuki GSX-R600. It's an old K4, it's in the garage. It just needs to go, to be honest. Um, and I've got some bikes, um, so I say bikes, that's like mountain bikes, road bikes, triathlon bikes, uh, and I'm going to be making some updates to those as well, so I'll take you along on the journey for that as well. But, this is all about the X5M, um, and getting those wheels nice and sorted, so what we'll do is uh, we'll get it booked in with a local company, we'll drop it off, and then we'll see how they look. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you find this as interesting as I do, and um, I'll see you soon. Morning guys. Um, taking the car out to get its wheels refurbished, I don't know if you can see. So they're pretty scabbed up at the moment. And I'm gonna get them recoated, refinished, so they look nice because they look bloody awful, don't they? Um, so these are currently diamond cut, you can see it's just like all behind and horrible. So and that one's got a flat tail as well, so we'll try to have that repaired and it's just not going anywhere, it keeps going flat on me. So all of them are marked up to some degree. I think this one's not too bad, but you can see around the center cap. It's all a bit gone, and there's some chipping now and there around the wheel nut. So this is off to um, called Wheel Genie today, and we're going to get them refinished. Cool. So we just dropped the car off, and uh, they're going to be with Wheel Genie for a day, and uh, we're going to get them refinished. He reckons they've already been recut once because the sensors are sticking out a bit. Um, we'll, we'll have a look and um, see what the finish comes out like. So here come five o'clock, which is. Nine hours away, and um, we'll have some new looks. Happy days. <laughs>so that's a wrap for today thank you very much if you're still watching thank you very much for still watching stick some comments in the comments below let us know what you think of the car i think it looks fantastic i couldn't be happier with the color choice i think it really complements that silverstone blue um yeah also please don't forget like and subscribe that would help me out tremendously you know this is the first video of hopefully many to come and we'll be able to get some more content out to you as and when we we get around to it i'm not entirely sure what will be next and um, if anyone else has got an x5m or an x5 that they've done sort of similar mods to or We've got some great ideas for mods to the car then please let us know stick them in the comments below and we'll see if we can add them to the list as well because i really would like to make this one of like the, the nicest examples of, of one of these cars uh, i don't think there's that many of them in the country and it would be great to sort of make mine one of the best um, time and money allowing i guess um but yeah thank you very much um you persevered you stuck with me um comment below hash brown still listening but that's it that's a wrap 
one more thing to do is just to um, wrap this all up and send it to the internet i guess thank you very much and i'll see you in the next episode what do i do peace peace where's the camera can i zoom your front camera peace i'm not gonna do that Ladies.